Things are looking up. I know it feels shitty right now. Yeah. By 2024, <laughs> March, you're gonna be like, thank God that happened. My place is way better now. How do you feel like you've processed this whole separation and just like still, you know, being in the same house, but like- I'm dealing with it in a legal back and forth with my lawyer. The internet thinks I've made millions of dollars. That is not true. And it's like, on March 1st, was I financially prepared to move? No, not no. many people are. Literally the week before all of this happened, I remember emailing my agent and my manager and being like, guys, let's start like really trying to like do some shit because I am not in a good place financially. When I first started making like decent money, we decided we wanted to buy a house. And then I was playing catch up all the way up until Katie and I found a great location for our sandwich shop. Then a bunch of my money went towards that. And now I was at a point where in March, I was literally on like my last $2,000. I'm not kidding. He created this situation and now I'm scrambling trying to get my together to be able to in a financially responsible way move on to the next step so this is your office i have this space i have the conference room up front and then i have one next door it's grown up lala we're in the process. I don't like to use the word dissolve. I like to use the word rebrand because that's what we're doing. I will be give them Wawa, just me as myself. And so then, you're giving up the name? Yeah, I've got to get rid of Wawa in the name. The brand needs to stand on its own. When I created Give Them Wawa, it was very much like I was shoving myself down your throat. I have changed as a person. I'm, believe it or not, a little bit more reserved, and I need my brand to reflect that. I'm just a bitch in these streets trying to rebrand and get a sperm donor. Why do you want a sperm donor? Because I want another baby so badly, and this morning, my child is like fully speaking. And did and she tell you that you need a sperm donor? No, but she's very excited about the thought of a sibling. Why don't you just wait till you meet somebody else? Because I don't want a baby daddy. Listen. It's not happening, there's no changing my mind. I know that this is not the norm, and I just feel like going the donor route is the right decision for me. And you know what, I want many. I think I'm gonna get a sperm donor, I'm gonna have this baby, then I'd like to adopt a baby. If I meet a guy later on, we can have a baby. I'll just have all the kids in the world and I'm gonna be so happy. I want an absolute with this um, baby. What do you mean by absolute? No matter what, this is like my baby. Like, no one can ever come in and take it from me. I love being a mom. I don't have to share on Christmas Day. Just mine.